Yo, 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 what's up? It's Angel Marcus here, back at you guys with another video. On today's video, I'm going to be removing the head and changing the head, the head gasket, you know. Just because, since I'm in there, I might as well just, just change it out, right? You're in there, it, it's kind of one of one of those things when you like, since I'm there, I might as well just do that as well. And I, since I got the part, I might as well just add that part to the engine just just because right but yeah as you can see in the clip I'm taking off the cams right now um, I looked it up on TIS a website or uh, a, yeah website for Toyota to check out the removal disassembly and all that good stuff for Toyota engines Lexus Ions really helpful program and people help me too because you know this is my first time disassembling the engine you know I want to make sure I'm doing it like somewhat right or else I'm gonna be like damn I could have done that better but now I know the basics and then the next time could be better because you know it, you could always improve when you never stop improving when you stop improving, that's that's when it ends. But you always gotta keep on improving. As you can see on the blog, I'm removing the old gasket, but I'm not scraping the actual block. Like I'm not going against it. I'm going with it. So I'm like instead of like pushing it, I'm pulling it so that it doesn't scratch up the head. And I and I use some brake cleaner to clean it up, clean up the surfaces and everything, but yeah, you know, just next time it's going to be a lot more efficient of a way to do it, because I already done it before, and the first time usually takes the longest, just because everything's new to you, right? You don't go into everything the first time expecting, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. Now, but what I, I did, I was like, yo, I'm going to have the engine out in a day. I'm going to reseal it in a day. And then I'm going to put it back into the day. I was thinking it's going to be three days, but no. It took me about a week. I was like, yeah, you know. I thought the engine stuff was going to be faster. But things happened and it took about a week. And I don't mind because it was something, it was a learning experience as some would say and I'm, I'm really thankful like I said before to all the people that helped me out while I was doing this because their knowledge goes way beyond mine out of anything that I could do anything as of right now because in the future I want to be able to construct these injuries and make them what I want to with no help of, but just straight knowledge so that it could be the best engine out there and I know I did it well because I did it myself as simple as that um, yeah I bolted back the head and I followed the sequence for that the website showed me and it showed me like the way you torque it down and everything like that and take it off. So when you're taking it off, you loosen the bolts from the middle and you go out. And when you're putting it on, you loose, you tighten. So it'll be, yeah, from the middle so you don't create any air pockets in the actual head to the block. And right here, I'm tiny, I'm putting on the chain to make sure it's on timing. The way you can see it's on timing is because the bottom where the crank is, is going to have the wheel, the trigger wheel. Yeah, so the trigger wheel on the bottom is going to have a little dot. And that dot is going to line up with the mark on the chain. And then the two... It's going to be like a yellow mark, and then the two orange marks are going to line up on the cams. The intake cam is going to have the two dots, and the 
no, my bad, my bad. The exhaust cam is going to have two dots, and the intake cam is going to have two lines right back to each other, so you know that's where the timing is supposed to be. But yeah, you know, I, I want to be able to process or make these engines reliable and performance oriented so that whenever I start building like these crazy horsepower cars I could just have total confidence in myself because I, I have confidence going into it and then this reinforced me to have more confidence because with confidence, you can do anything. You, as long as you set your mind to it and believe in yourself, you can accomplish a lot of good things that you set your mind, all the things that you set your mind to. And right here, I'm changing out both gaskets for the front cover and the water pump. And then I put some fibbage around one of the little holes for the, for the boat. And, but yeah. Confidence is believing in yourself is the most important thing you could do because with that you could accomplish anything you put your mind to. The right mindset will lead you to most places that you never ever believe that you could ever go to. Right here I'm putting on like the water neck and stuff like that. And the cooling hoses and I deleted the ventilation tube to the from the block to the head because I read that it didn't need it so I'm I, it's doing pretty good as of right now in the future I want to put like some catch cans and stuff like that just to help ventilate it and make sure that it's getting the as clean as the air from into the throttle body and intake manifold as possible to make sure I don't have to clean it and worry about the idle air control valve going bad and stuff like that because that's according to the forms I read that could the oil going from the, um, the valve cover to the throttle body could cause the idle air control valve to go bad so I wanted to I'm going to try to fix that as much as possible and then yeah I'm starting to put on I that's the power steering delete bracket it's just a pulley with a bolt and a space in between it and yeah because I want to get more response out of the steering and improve the acceleration by like that little bit right there you can see I changed the alternator pulley and the throttle body and the water pump pulley to under drive and the pulley was like half the way I was like wow that that's surprising I was like damn that that's going to do me justice and throttle response quotations around throttle response but I found out the belt was the wrong size so I had to wait until I found the right size belt which I did I put it on once it was in the car but yeah I put on I'm putting on all accessories now making sure everything is right and ready to go in I almost forgot the the gasket for the intake manifold and imagine that imagine forgetting the gasket be like shoot the car it's in the car and now I forgot the gasket but that's how it'll be right and you live and learn this was a learning experience I would say for the most part and I'm thankful that I was able to do that at, to, at where I work because they had all the tools and all the equipment that I needed for this job. I'm thankful to them. Leave a like, comment, have you ever pulled down an engine and restilled it yourself? Subscribe and keep a positive mindset. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.